boiled on its own in an instant. Forensics found the remains of the divers after the arteries burst and the blood running through them turned to fat. These fat balls were found throughout their arteries, veins, liver, and heart, but they also discovered that it had been expelled with such violence out of the veins that it was scattered throughout the chamber, along with what had recently been the bodies of the divers, now transformed into an unrecognizable mass. In a split second, they were dead, but the worst death was Helvix. Finding himself close to the door to close it, the air that came out with overwhelming force caused his body to be sucked into the airlock. His body was ejected through the two-foot-long crescent moon-shaped opening. With the difference in pressure to which he was subjected, the force applied to the diver's body was approximately 25 tons from the air trying to get out, what ended with the expulsion of all the organs of his thoracic cavity projected to the outside. Inside the chamber, they found his windpipe, section of his small intestine, and his spinal column. Even hours later, they discovered a section of his intestine hanging 10 meters above the lock. The forensics described the state of some organs. They were intact, they said, as if they had been dissected cleanly and expelled out of the body. The accident was so brutal that investigators found little blood at the crash site. The only consolation if we can put it this way, is that the divers who died there, according to forensics, died an instant and painless death.